Hey beautiful, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, it's amazing to have your company. Welcome to our space guys. This space right here is dedicated to Ayurvedic and holistic internal and topical approaches to accelerating hair growth, retaining inches, thickening hair and reclaiming our follicles and hair definition. If you are all about that life, this is definitely the spot for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are all about that life. Every single video shows you how. Um, so today we're gonna actually be talking about 10 lit ways that you can use fenugreek to accelerate your hair growth and maximize length retention. Now, we're gonna be looking at topical and internal approaches to this. Now, if you are one of those people who is like, listen, whatever you take is not gonna help. It's just all about your genetics. If your hair will grow, it will. If it won't, it won't. Listen, you need to maximize your genetic potential. We need to turn, guys, listen, if you are a believer, if you have tried and tested, any of the recipes on this channel, or if you've used something internally or topically that has accelerated your hair growth, comment below. Let's convert some people because we want to reclaim one head of hair at a time to its maximum health potential. Sis, you are not beyond help. Miss me with that because trust me, this stuff really, really works. Um, the testimonials, we're gonna get onto those in a minute. 10 ways to use fenugreek, huh? Why fenugreek exactly? Well, listen, first off, there are journal studies, forget taking my word for it, there are journal studies that have shown that compared with the placebo, people that take fenugreek topically and internally have significantly more hair growth than people that don't. And they've done studies on animals, they've done studies on people, they've done studies on people with different scalp and hair ailments and found the same to be true um, in at least 80% of participants in the studies that I've seen. That means for 20%, okay, fine. It, it might not work if it's topical, but what about if you're then doing topical and you're doing internal? What about if you're then managing your stress levels? What about if you're then finding out the other things that work for you? So that's what this channel is all about. Now, fenugreek, guys, has got a really unique nutrient profile because it really does have a lot of the minerals and the micronutrients you need for hair growth. For example, manganese, check. Magnesium, check. Iron, check. Bioavailable proteins and amino acids, check, 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 guys. And um, not only that, it releases lecithin as well. Lecithin is known as an emulsifying agent. It's one of those things that can bring the hydration and the oil in your routine together to work really, really well. In and of itself, it is a conditioning agent. People normally use it in um, the commercial uh, production of beauty products. And, and here we are with fenugreek naturally releasing it with all of its conditioning goodness. Aside from the fact that it's going to give you all of that goodness in a tiny affordable seed, it also awakens follicles and thickens hair time and time again. So you definitely want to have it. The testimonials, have you seen them? They have been lit left, right, center. I mean, Literally, we can't get away from the fact that thousands of women have hit me up, DMs, messages under videos with their results, with their testimonials. So if you're not convinced, I don't even know what to tell you. A couple of ways to use fenugreek that we have not mentioned on the channel before. It's been so fun, like trying all of these different recipes. I actually started 
with trying out some of these things last summer. Like that's how long I have been um, investigating and just kind of figuring things out in the sidelines in order to put together this video. Let's talk about sprouting your fenugreek seeds. So guys, um, you can grab your fenugreek seeds and you can sprout it. What's wonderful about all these different methods is they actually release a slightly different nutrient profile. So you're going to get different benefits with each one. And it's a really nice way to kind of change things up. So you can sprout your um, your seeds. It actually makes a lot of the nutrients a lot more bioavailable, a lot more digestible, a lot more utilizable, a lot more absorbable in your different recipes. So once you've sprouted your seeds, which by the way, you do simply by grabbing some seeds, you can put them in a Ziploc ziplock bag with some tissue paper and leave it to sprout um, you could um, use this various different containers for example recyclable containers um, milk cartons um, maybe even just your old um, strawberries container you can just put that tissue paper down and um, put the seeds put some more tissue paper on top put some water on and just allow some time for the seeds to start to sprout and um, all you need to do is make sure the seeds don't dry out so that they're able to do so and and you're going to release a whole different profile of bioavailable nutrients. You can then take that and you can use it in your food, in your smoothies, in your um, juices, in your homemade teas, and it's gonna release loads of goodness into your body. Taking us one step further than that, the second use for fenugreek is actually to produce microgreens you can just push that sprouting that one bit further grab your old container that had your strawberries or your blueberries or even get yourself a purpose-made like seed growth tray fill it with a bit of compost um pre-soak your seeds for a couple of hours thickly spread the seeds on that tray or whichever it is put it in the dark for a day or two and then bring it out onto your window ledge you don't need anything fancy you don't even need a garden to grow these microgreens and let me tell you there is so much research to say that microgreens are second to none when it comes to boosting your nutrient um, profile and your health everyone should be growing microgreens and utilizing them in their diet the main reason being that actually the microgreens contain more nutrients per gram than fully developed um, vegetables so for example if i was used growing microgreens of peas or sunflowers, uh, sunflowers seeds, that would have more nutrition in it than for example, if I was to have peas in the pod, my, my microgreen shoots would have more nutrition per gram, more vitamin C, more vitamin E, more vitamin B per gram than if I were to um, go ahead and have the fully grown vegetables because it's, it's smaller, but it's a powerhouse in those early stages of growth. You, you need to include this um, in your routine. Don't mix it up for that small stuff that you get, you know, those small crest things. No, you want to grow yourself a good high in microgreen, really densely pack it in. Um, and then you can use that again in your smoothies, in your salads, um, in your cooking, in your greens, in your side dishes and all that good stuff. Okay, so we have looked at some items that you could use both topically and that you can use internally for sure. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about making up a hair mask you can actually grab yourself some fenugreek powder and uh, make up a hair mask with something like um, coconut milk or um, aloe vera um, you know you can get the juice uh, the pulp from an aloe vera plant you can make yourself up um, a hair mask using that and um, we we also carry the curly proverbs um hair mask that actually has fenugreek in it it's got aloe vera it's got slippery elm a very very high quality and hydrating slippery elm fenugreek and henna so it's a really ba balanced strengthening and hydrating um hair mask and the feedback we get time and time and time again is that some people didn't even know that their curls and coils could pop so hard and that the slip in there is amazing again that is to do with the release of lecithin that conditioning component 
treatment that allows the mixing of water and oil and emulsifiers and gives great slip. So I'm going to leave that down below if you want to check it out. The testimonials again have been absolutely off the chain for um, the aloe mask. Um, so I would definitely say make yourself a hair mask. And when you're making up your hair mask, make sure you apply it to the scalp you want the follicle number to increase in your scalp you want the thickness and the size of those follicles to increase uh, and you want the active follicles to increase and that is not going to happen with just applying it to the hair although the hair will benefit greatly you want to make sure almost like back in the day when we used to use relaxers and you apply it boom really make sure that scalp is getting that goodness Okay, so um, guys, if you are no stranger to my channel, you know I'm all about the use of teas. And there's two ways that you can use your teas. You can um, use them topically. Actually, there's three ways. I lied, I lied, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, there's three ways that you can use your teas. First off, when you make up your tea, you can drink it. Um, and then you can also apply it from roots to end as a rinse. Once you shampooed that hair girl, before you go in with your moisturizing deep conditioner, go ahead and rinse your hair from scalp to ends. Leave it in for about 15 minutes, follow up with your moisturizing deep conditioner and after about 30 minutes rinse the whole thing out um, talk about rejuvenating the um, scalp the follicles minimizing really really minimizing the shedding of your hair it works bomb the other way you can do it is you can instead of using it as a rinse you can use it as a curl refresher just pop it into um a bottle and spritz your hair from roots to end and then go in and moisturize and seal. So how do you make up the tea? It's real simple. Just grab yourself a fistful of fenugreek seeds and pop them into a pot, um, a sealable container. I normally use a glass sealable container or a teapot and just allow it to infuse anything from an hour up to eight hours is good like overnight is great um don't really go much beyond that because it will just swell to ridiculous amounts and you won't get much liquid out of it well let's not miss a beat here guys you can also make your own fenugreek oil hello um yeah it works bomb um if, if, if you didn't know, if you're new to, you know, healthy hair care, when you go to a lot of Indian stores and you go to buy the well-known hair oils, they're actually based in mineral oil. Mineral oil sometimes is the oil they choose to diffuse, infuse into. Um, and it is one of the largest ingredients in the ingredient profile. However, mineral oil is not great for scalp health. And a lot of people have hair complaints, so they didn't really realize they could trace it back to the use of mineral oils some people find it quite benign and have ha had no problems with using it and other people is really been a game changer when they omitted that out of their process so you can go ahead and grab yourself an oil again throw in a fistful of fenugreek seeds or fenugreek powder and heat that in a heavy based pan um, for 15 minutes on a very low heat 30 minutes on a very low heat or place it into a slow cooker and basically you've infused that goodness into your oil you can grab you some castor oil olive oil is also fantastic carrot oil is also fantastic for infusing um and you have goodness that you cannot compare to the profile of what you can pick up in um, the indian store that's actually based in mineral oil that the goodness that's going to be in there is going to be easily absorbable absorbable and it's going to be fantastic for your hair and um, alternatively of course you guys know that i have a full diy um, recipe video for my favorite fenugreek and henna um, hair growth oil and um, we're now guys thank you so much at two point something million views and literally thousands of dms emails um, messages later people telling me of the results that they have had using this oil um, if you're not about that diy life and it's a little bit finickety for you to do i'm gonna have the oil linked below you can actually purchase it now a lot of you told me off for years and said girl why are you not selling it before i buy it. by the time i buy this ingredient this ingredient this ingredient it cost me a hundred dollars to make it myself and why can't you just sell it to me so 
we did um and again um testimonials on that have been amazing check that out in the description box below moving on from that if you have your fenugreek elixir if you've got your fenugreek oil you can actually go on to make um what i affectionately call fenugreek melts okay so i grab my fenugreek oil i grab some shea butter i grab some cocoa butter i melt them all together um whip it up with some coconut milk and then i freeze that it's got great applications if you want to use it as a pre-shampoo treatment you can if you want to use it um, as a cube in your main deep conditioner or if you want it to be the deep conditioner you can use it can I just say the emotions I feel when I think about the curl definition that I get from that actual recipe I don't even think it's normal I guess like listen it's such a good recipe it really really does help to define my curls if you struggle with curl definition definitely try it and if you want to balance in a bit of strength then throw in some henna powder just to balance the strength and the hydration but I absolutely adore that recipe and and time and time again the times when I get compliments on social media and in real life on my curl definition I have used fenugreek and henna in one description or another so definitely definitely give it a try and come back and let others know what you thought of the recipe okay so you can actually use fenugreek in your butter or sealant did you know this like we did this in a video last year i believe and in fact just this morning before my kids went to school i sealed their ends using my fenugreek butter so all you need to do is grab you some sheer um some sheer butter and melt it down you can also use alternatively you can use avocado butter mango butter sheer butter just happens to be my favorite for working with it's easy it's soft and i just prefer it so you melt that down and be sure to add like a tablespoon or two at least of your favorite oil so it could be olive oil it could be coconut oil and then um, heat it all together again slow on a low heat infuse it um, remove the seeds and then you have a butter once you've whipped it handheld you know uh, whisk is great um, and if you use oil that that ensures that it stays softer um, I found in the past when I have made up my butters and I've not included oil that after it cools and settles it, it goes to being hard so it's, it's up to you if you decide that you want it to have it hard or not but again you've got all that goodness plus the goodness of sheer butter I'm sorry but how can you beat that okay now I don't know I don't know that I've seen this anywhere but it's really good it's really really good fenugreek gel hair gel yes yes um now you can make it two different ways and let me tell you if you struggle with your coil definition your curl definition your kinks definition if you're struggling if you're struggling with detangling afterwards because once you wear a wash and go your hair tangles and mats up so much um because of the loose strands and the frizz etc then this is really really the recipe for you um grab yourself some fenugreek seeds and you you can do the whole process that you would normally do with the traditional flax gel as one of the recipes so you put them into a pot you simmer then you allow it to cool it's gonna release all this congealed goodness and you can use that as a leave-in you could use that mixed into your deep conditioner you can use it almost like a gel once you've put in your normal leave-in you can go over and then your curls <laughs> listen I don't think you're ready and um, the other way that you can use it is you can actually soak the fenugreek seeds in warm water leave it for eight hours or so and then you're gonna get like a jelly like substance that's released all the way around the seeds again you can strain it out the jelly like substance in my in my experience hasn't been as thick as the flax gel but you still get a jelly like substance that you can actually then use as your leave-in to help with definition 
or you can blend it all together into a paste and then use that in your masks from roots to end. Um, I do prefer the method where I use it with the flax in the traditional prep um, for definition and just general use. Okay guys, the other thing you can do is you can go and get your fully grown methi or fenugreek um, from the Asian store or your Turkish store, your, your local store, um, that's a green grocers and ethnic grocers. You can get a methi and it looks like coriander. They have it in those bunches and you can um, put it into a sag. You can put it into your curry dishes um, for just an extra punch of flavor and nutrition. You can cut it up and put it in your salad. It does have a spice unique flavor though you could put it in your juices if you're all about that goodness um, and if you cannot get a hold of it um, you can actually go and grab yourself some dried methi um, if you can get a hold of the kusuri um, the one that from the kusuri region um, a lot of the time if you will purchase um, fenugreek it will say kusuri that is the best type everyone knows if you're from pakistan or india you know that in that particular region they actually have um, over years made the most fresh fragrant and nutritionally potent methi or fenugreek to grow in that area. Um, so grab that in its dried form. Again, use it in tea, use it in your seasoning, use it to sprinkle um, over whatever it is that you're consuming and you're gonna get that goodness. Um, it tastes amazing in makati roti and sag. Oh my gosh. If you don't know, just take yourself to a restaurant and try some sag with a load of butter. Again, thank me later. Guys, listen, I gave you my best gems. I cannot count. So maybe I gave you an extra one and we're at 11, maybe we're at nine but I gave you my best. I gave you my tried and tested and I hope that you found this video to be useful. I hope you learned something new. I hope it's inspired you to try it. And if you've abandoned your fenugreek love, I hope it inspires you to go back and give it a try. And um, before we leave, I just wanted to tell you this random fact about fenugreek. I get loads of questions about, um, it's smell and it's really interesting because you know there's there's a percentage of people on this planet who if they eat coriander aka cilantro it tastes like soap to them did you know that's based on your genetic profile and your biochemistry as to how it actually tastes to you so cilantro tastes completely different from one person to the next fenugreek is much the same way there are two schools of thought on this there are people who find fenugreek to taste like to smell excuse me like a maple syrupy sweetness and there's people that say that it smells spicy like straight up curry okay there's two different camps i cannot tell you which camp you're going to fall into if you're going to find it to be sweet or, or spicy um and also mixing with coconut oil really helps to make it smell sweeter i am a person that finds it to be a spicy smell however um, when I mix it and infuse it into coconut oil, I definitely can understand the sweetness because the sweetness profile gets raised for me. So that's an interesting fact. It's down to your genetics, girl. I can't tell you. Just give it a try. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you try any of these recipes, please tag me on my Instagram. Please come back and let me know in the comment section below because other people watch what commenters say and sometimes it's the deciding factor as to whether or not somebody else is going to try. So your work definitely definitely counts until next time be safe and be well and take care of yourselves okay speak to you soon